Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome back to another episode uh, of To, to Be, be Quite, quite Honest. honest. Um, <laughs> with us today, we have very special guests. I want to say their name. Let them introduce themselves. Yeah, Lady in Pink. What's your name? <laughs> Tell us about you. Okay, my name is Daphne. Daphne mm-hmm. Akatuba. Okay. Um, I, I'm a customer experience and marketing person by day, and then a. You know when I say hustler, I must say I'm a hustler by. <laughs> <laughs> but then my father might watch this and he hates the word hustler. So okay, she runs, I'll say, and I run several businesses. Okay, okay. Yeah, entrepreneur. Yes. I believe that's the word. Yes, of that's many, what they call of many serial things. entrepreneur. Okay, okay woman okay. of many talents. Mm-hmm. And then okay. Lady Yellow. Hi. Hi. So my name is Jennifer Emio, and I'm a director of operations at Maven Global. Ooh. Or popularly known as Maven Records. Ooh, well, I see. I see you're repping one of your. <laughs> yeah. Ira Star. Okay, hello, shout hello, out. Hello. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you recruit the celebrities or you just manage back office? No, no I just manage back office. Back so office. I leave that to the big guns in oh, front. Okay. All right. All right. Great. Okay, all today. right. It was so nice to have you guys join us today. Thank you for coming. Thank you. All right. And Thanks. today, we're, um, today's conversation really is just work ethics. Um, you know, they always say Gen Zs always have like a different way from the millennials how they work and you know it's just like always putting them in, like a constant battle because I don't I know there's a difference right how do but you know? it's clear because like people clear? like for people because I'm a Gen Z right Girl. and then people then are my <laughs> yeah like for our no, age range we really don't we don't like stress Mm. Sorry, it's I like, want to ask before you go who yeah. likes stress exactly. no people they are, it looks like there are some people that like manual labor Okay. They like they like stress. They just they Sorry, constantly. Do you like stress? No. Do you like stress? No. You know what? It's okay. People behind. Do you guys like stress? Just <laughs> yes or no. You can answer. Do you like stress? See? Yes. Oh, wow. We have one person liking stress. No. We've had. What what we're trying to say is nobody likes the stress. efforts millennials put into their work mm. is not what a casual Gen Z would. Exactly. So it's not what a Gen Z would. It's not what a casual Gen Z would. Let's say regular. Let's just say regular. General. Gen Zs. Right? So that's why we're having this topic today. So we're just here to ask you guys, what do you think? And before we go on to say, what do you think? What would you describe as like good work ethics? But also, before we even get into that, let's even ask them, how they interface with people that work because you know she says she has a nine five but mm-hmm. she's a serial entrepreneur yeah. so it means like you know she hires people so before you get into what you describe as a good ethic like what you think good work ethic is or what work ethic you think it is talk about like kind of business that you do and the kind of work you expect from the people that you hire both of you okay well, yes, yes, that's you yes. <laughs> no, you. okay Any, anybody can go it doesn't matter. doesn't matter um so um first of all yeah. as a director of operations that means you are overseeing processes yeah of people mm-hmm. Um, businesses mm-hmm. and um, admin parts. So it's like three things coming together, but making sure that they are all seamless. Okay. So how do I interact with people um, from hiring to evaluation sessions to coaching and um, just being friendly as well? Because again, if we're speaking about Gen Z and millennials, there are different languages that they understand. Yeah. Okay. So just being able to speak to people. And I feel like you cannot use one stick to manage everybody, you have uh-huh. to manage everybody differently, okay. understand. And that's one of the efficient ways to work. Yeah. Understanding that the way I work with Daphne is not the same way I work with Noma, it's not the same way I work with you. So, um, as that was the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think she's done well staying on yeah, track. Yeah, like, like, generally, like, what, would you, you, what would you define like work, work ethic, ethic. As? Um, So I'll say a well-rounded leader. Mm. Okay, okay. Because in the end, we we'll all grow into our own leaders in our own sphere, or yeah, whatever okay, you want yeah. to do. Mm-hmm. So, being well rounded, like when it comes to the job, when it comes, you know when to lay your head down, yeah. you know when to encourage, you know when to be stern, you know when to keep your work neat, and excellence obviously mm-hmm. should be your watchword. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you just anything that comes out from you because you or yourself, you're also a brand. Yeah. That's what I don't think everybody yeah, understands. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because when you send an email out, when you send out a report, yeah, it is your name that's on it. So okay. how do you want it to look? How do you want your reader to digest it? What kind of impression do you want to give? On and offline, so okay. okay. Well so said, that, Jennifer. That's good. That's well good. Said. So, hang. You no, know, <laughs> I want you. to take the key point. What she has said, yeah. excellence. Like, yeah, I, I like that. She really honed in on that. Yeah. Because yeah. The energy I get from Gen Z's, I've done it. <laughs> yeah. If it's good, <laughs> if it's bad, <laughs> <laughs> shall we decide to do? I've okay, all right. I'm just <laughs> telling you because you know what. 
Daphne, tell us. Tell us. Yeah, tell us. What you do? Like your own line. Side. So I think for me, with my nine to five, I I do interviews. In fact, I was telling someone the other day that I'm traumatized. Really? <laughs> I'm tired of interviewing. So I've, oh. I've been interviewing since February, trying yeah. to recruit certain roles um, where I had customer work. experience. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's a financial institution, and it's more structured, of course, mm-hmm. so there's a process to it, right? So there's, oh. You first have the chats, then you do a competency-based interview, then, you know, the back and forth, and then people drop off. Sometimes you, you, you encounter someone in a chat, mm-hmm. and then you see the person in the next level, and you're like, how did you get How did here? you get here? <laughs> is it you know, I'm, sometimes I want to call the person. I'm like, are you okay? Wait, what happened? You know? Um, and then, you know, you have to go through all that process. Um, and then with my own businesses, yeah. I think because we're smaller, you don't really have the luxury of that. So sometimes what we do is, and again, having interviewed people, CVs are just like a knock on the door. Okay. Beyond that, a lot of the things on the CVs, I've learned discounts a lot of it. So yeah. people are lying. Pe- people are lying. Okay. Of course. Right? And also Every, people, so people are lying. even beyond lying. So I think that's the thing about the no lying. Yeah, I think lying. even I think even because of the <laughs> climb that we're in, we believe in packaging so much yeah, that the C V is so fluffy and propped up that they can't you won't. sometimes they can't won't. how can but here's the thing what when you reaching. when you see a C V that is so nice, like it's the first thing that comes to mind person is a liar. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like oh you know I oh, like, all those like, CVs that have like so much certifications, you're like, oh yeah. What, what can you not do? Tell me. Like somebody had just one job exp- um, experience mm-hmm. and she had four page CV. Imagine. What did she put? Mm. LinkedIn certification. One, two, three, <laughs> four. And I was thinking, why did you fill up a whole page with all this, right? But <laughs> nowadays, because we're very into, you know, announcing, announcing and creating a yeah. certain mm-hmm. kind of persona. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the two things they can do, like you said, that sometimes you look at you and you're like, let me have a conversation with this person. But yeah. there's always a, you're always like, mm, let me hear what this person will say. Okay. And then the person is talking, I'm like, okay, but I co- so interesting. There's a time I interviewed someone and she was coming to work in my nine to five and she had like head of this, head of that, head of that. I was like, okay. So I started, you know, engaging her. She wasn't matching. So I was like, okay, Who when I said that you were head of this, she said, oh, so what actually happened is I'm the only one in the department. So I oh kind of just create my, my roles as I go. I like my girl oh says my she's God. the head and not the tail. You know what? I like it. Because it's only yes, you. That yes. energy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like, you know what? If it's just me, why not? Why can't I be my own boss? Exactly. And they'll so, be like, you know, those are the things that you see and you're just like, okay. Mm. But in terms of your question around like work ethic, I think, um, I think that once you spot someone who has integrity yeah. okay. and has mm-hmm. passion, 90% of the problem is solved. Yeah. Okay. I always say that a lot of times when I do interviews, I don't really care what you've done. Yeah. Mm. Because one, one thing I've realized is a skill can be taught. Yep. Okay. But work ethic is very difficult to teach because the process of teaching, okay. the person would almost feel like you are straining them. You know that Gen Z mm. thing of, because almost like you have to put someone through fire okay. for them to come. It's like, it's like molding and clay, right? Yeah. Like yeah. a pot. You have to go through that fire. And a lot of times people are, they're just like, why are you stressing me? You don't pay me enough for this. You don't, exactly. But so, do you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know the thing is, and maybe because of, it, again, that's a millennial problem, <laughs> is where, and you know when you're talking about stress, yeah. maybe what she means is that millennials sometimes you have that culture of, I must go through fire to yeah. come out refined. Yeah, I agree. And so that's what, that's what counts as us liking stress. Mm. It's like we've been taught that. It's also like, you know, I was thinking the other day, now you can literally, want to, if you want to do pounded yam, you can literally just blend your yam and keep him. I keep thinking. Wow. So what are our models? Why would they do? <laughs> I thank you, Lord, for technology. <laughs> do you but, understand? Yeah. But then it's like we are used to it, and so we don't shy away from it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now it's almost like, why do you have to do that? So we believe in working hard and working, working smart, smart. But now it's actually just about working. Working smart. smart. Do you feel like um, there's a disconnect when you do not know? And I and I say this because, for instance, do you think that having to learn timetables like m- memorize them versus using the calculator every time do you think there's a difference in the work that someone that knows both would put out versus someone that knows just how to the calculator team work smart use the calculator <laughs> yeah but what i'm saying is, is you, in terms of does it affect in terms the of the general output or how this person thinks do you really do you feel like it's like a, a core difference in someone knowing how to do things at all someone just so knowing the why or knowing the how so so, so there's sometimes you hire people and they know why they're doing what they're doing. Some mm-hmm. just know how to do it. Yes. And you find that people that know how to calculators can tell you that two times two is four. 
Like, I'll do two mm-hmm. times two. Mm-hmm. But someone can literally, if you know why, you can know that if I'm going to go through LCM and I, this is like the lowest denominator for every number that ends with two is two. Like, mm-hmm. all of those things. You feel like they fit into the work that we do or... Mm. I, I think they do. Um, and I think the reason that, why... That, like, base knowledge... Yes, I think the the also the reason why for, yeah. is... Mm. It's almost like, you know, when you learn to drive a car and you learn mm-hmm. using manual, the manual. And also. And using, it's like, when the system breaks down, then what? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think the problem now is that we trust so much in that everything system. would work as it should. Yeah. yeah. When it the good thing with doing that is that the moment there's no calculator, the person goes to carry pen and paper. And that's and and exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but what if you don't know? Like That's my question. Like, <laughs> if you only know how to calculate and you can't use barrier and paper, what then? I'm hoping the I think I think that's where the smartness applies because you have to because find it's other like ways. how would you, you have know to be creative how and mm. not know the back end some people don't, don't, don't know back end like no it, but it, eventually know eventually end. if you're doing something con, con, like Continue. constantly mm. or continuously not i don't think so you don't I have, I think with around this. the more you do something the less you need to know how because it becomes like memory like mm. memory. different yes. different yes um yes so I, strokes for different folks true mm. but i i feel like that's probably something that will set people apart is yeah. when you know mm-hmm. like you said you know the why, why? it's not mm-hmm. just the how knowing the, how. Just knowing the why because then you can also start to even question from the, the, from the that, get okay yeah. right as opposed to this just you know this is how we do it works, yeah, yeah right. and it also helps you with your personal growth so why am I doing this yeah okay. do I want to still do this mm-hmm. I ask people do you want to build a career sometimes or do you want to get paid because that's something my boss also taught me he's like Maybe sometimes some people just want to get paid. Yeah. And go. But some people want to build careers. So when you are speaking with someone that wants to build a career, conversations are better. And that's where integrity and all of that the comes in. Because you will just that. naturally want see to. all those yeah. kind of things yeah. in that kind of person. And that's a very nice thing your boss said, really. Mm. Because there are some people that just want to maintain their lifestyle. I beg. Let me just do this. And you know what I feel? I think that is fair. I think it's fair. What, what, what I think, what I think is not it's fair is knowing that you want to maintain your <laughs> lifestyle but stressing everybody else trying to, <laughs> to do the career. It, yeah, yeah like, literally everybody. Like, so yeah, it's seen. Yeah, so yes, yeah, you're yeah, drawing them back. And everybody gets paid at the end of the month provided mm-hmm. the output is X, Y, Z. Mm-hmm. Your point, you, I mean, at the point of the process, you're supposed to do Z. And when it's time for you, like I beg, <laughs> I'm not I feeling well to today. I want to rest tomorrow. It's raining. It's my traffic. mental health. Now to be honest, my mental health. Yep. Okay. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I'm having a, I'm having an off day. I need to take a break. I know. But your whole team, like literally, people having pick up slack every time for you. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. I and, hear you. I and hear I'm you. just like, why don't you just fire them? Mm. Yeah, in HR. Like you, yeah, you manage so, people. So you, you, there's a thing now that actually encourages firing. <laughs> like fire fast. <laughs> Because, because 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 yeah, sometimes cause... if you keep somebody that keeps tanking You're, something, yeah. it's unfair to other people, and that's when they come and meet you. Like my money is small. Of course, your money is small. <laughs> if you are taking other people's job, <laughs> like why am I doing your job for you? I'll be disgruntled. Yeah. And now I'm not telling you I need more money, but yeah. in the actual fact, maybe that is matching with market value but because, because I'm of the work busy that you're taking on other that people's job it's not just enough for me yeah yeah so but, yes sometimes it and it also gives you time to also look at your systems and look at your skill gap and say okay if I lose this person what will, what I, will I really lose? miss yeah mm. but I think like in fairness to them as well you know the Gen Z is one thing you know you will appreciate is um they wear their hearts on their sleeve, which is Absolutely. they tell you how they feel. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I think that's something we millennials didn't really. Yeah, I was going to say we're not able to do because I feel like there's a time and place for everything. Yes, but the the truth is sometimes it saves all of us a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, for example, you might have a millennial who is disgruntled, and that's why sometimes like you, dying inside. Yes, oh, and you why? see a lot why of big organizations inside? struggle with that. Yeah, where Nigeria. a staff is dissatisfied, like, grossly is. <laughs> Is almost pulling everybody back, but refuses, refuses to say, I'm unhappy here. Yeah. And so, what happens is because millennials lost stability, um, mm. millennials are afraid. They're more afraid than Gen Z. Gen Z's mm-hmm. would do it afraid anyway. They I, would, I, in fact, they don't even, I don't think they're even afraid. They're just like, Look, I'll try this. It doesn't work. It doesn't work out. I'll try another one. And in a way, it's a good thing. Exactly. I've done this way. And in, in a way, it's a good thing because yeah. sometimes. You know, millennials just sit there. It's almost like and you don't take charge of your you life. You don't take charge of your life. So it's, it's almost like you it's have like a you're boat. just okay being exactly. constant. Exactly. It's like you have a boat yeah. and dead weight. 
and they're just yeah. refusing to go because they're like, just like you won't I have move forward, you won't move backward, not, I want you to won't do anything. We will die yet. And you're like, can you roll? I literally like you have conversations with some like some people and they're just like very comfortable in their place. You're just like, how are you here? 10 years, 11 years, years, 15. But you know, but you know, but, Sis, but here's the no. thing. Baby boomers are the worst. Though. I was going to just say that people <laughs> no. always like flame millennials and say, oh, you know, you guys, you can't be somewhere for 10 years. But here's the thing the person that's brought you on was there 30 years. Yes. And you know, and so it's But so that's funny. why everything is changing now. But like, here's the thing. No, there's, and you know the thing, I don't think it's a bad thing. Mm, well, being be, somewhere for long. To be where? To be somewhere for a long time. I've been in my place for seven years. That's good. So as long as that's not yielding cotton, that's not long time. As long as it's yielding Exactly. Yeah. And, I've had, and I've had people call me and say, oh, yeah. you're still there? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> 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 Glad that you won't build house for that. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> but it's, the truth is, but you're seeing the impact it's doing for you. I am you. because the truth is, with moving a lot, what it does yeah. is that you grow, you grow Nothing. wide, but you don't grow deep. Yeah. Okay. And so, that's what it does when you can find a place that works for you. Yeah, and, and just plant, plant, plant and you're like, yes. Okay. Yeah. But the problem with, which is what I was talking about, millennials is that when you found out that you're dissatisfied, yeah. this isn't serving any it's purpose. Not, yeah, you need to Go leave. somewhere else. Yeah, like what money. happens is they would just, Stay. because they are, again, that fear mm. of the unknown. A lot of but also, it's free. difficult to interview for jobs. Though. It is, but yeah. the truth of the matter is, all right, if, you, if you're not happy, don't sink us. A lot of them are unhappy and they're thinking, what millennials would, what Gen Zs would do just is jump. they come here like, ah, bad work, work, um, what the culture you have. The energy, the energy, the energy. But the truth is that they've left for you to employ somebody else. But they Gen Z, a millennial refused to leave. So they can't believe someone else on board. So they are getting They wouldn't be where you have those conversations with them. They wouldn't be where you have those conversations. They wouldn't be where you have those conversations. They wouldn't be where you have where you have those conversations. Like, okay, what can we do for you? They'll still be telling you it's okay, I'm fine. It's okay. And it's because they're thinking of responsibilities. Yes. They're thinking, a lot of them also don't want to come and say, oh, I've moved. Only you are moving. No, but I want to ask you something. Like, should they not be, like, you have your wife and three children. Children, are you now going to put and let me ask you this I don't say this as someone that believes that duty should guide your mm-hmm. every movement mm-hmm. but you have a wife and three children in school are you now saying because you're unhappy at your work you leave the work no then there's saying, also exactly. stability that you've mentioned yeah. who doesn't like stability yeah. Yeah. Gen Z but I think <laughs> <laughs> them, no, no, them, but I them think... kids are happy to be moving <laughs> no, you know what they, 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 they are moving to go to where they, they would find stability. themselves like, why not I don't keep think going hey, let me tell you let keep, me give it let me give it an one time keep outside pushing. the gym I don't go to the gym anymore when I used to go there was this woman that was lament as in this babe like she's like Older than me, so maybe she's like in her forties, maybe like maybe like, she's like forty-five, and she's like, "Can you imagine?" She was on the phone, like, as they always say, ranting, and this is what you mean, like five thirty-six. I'm like, "Mama, it's not even it's too early for this." Why are you <laughs> talking? Really? She's like, "Can you imagine?" Girl, she hired that. She told her to pack some things and maybe send them to someone. And then the girl didn't send them, and she's like, "Why didn't you send them?" The girl said she forgot her wig. She had to go back. What? And I was like, um, "She so said, in fact, you... wait." Okay. And I said, "Ah, that's so." I said, can you imagine? She couldn't even lie and say, she couldn't even say, she, couldn't, she, had, she, she had the guts to tell me that she couldn't pack them well, that she couldn't go and deliver them. Okay, so I, I think it was fabric or something. Like, you have to go and drop it off at the customer's place or whatever. And the girl said she didn't go, send the driver away. She wasn't wearing wig that day. But she forgot her wig. So, like, the whole business, like, what the hell? Everything was on post. <laughs> like, literally, because she forgot her wig. And then she's like, can you imagine? She didn't even say she was sick. She couldn't even, like, a, Proper reason. So you, you so you can't go with your all back. Like, what the hell is you forgot your week so you didn't go and drop my... <laughs> and then, you know, she said, and you know the problem that she's had like so many of them. So, yeah. any small thing, they would just say, I'm going to send you on Instagram. Before I know it, they would leave your gum order from AliExpress and start selling on Instagram. So there's even <laughs> nobody to even hire. So the problem is that there's a pipeline for talent. And I'm yeah. like, this is crazy. Mm. Yeah, this woman right. is like 45. Like, at her age, she shouldn't even be crying over things like this. Like, oh. Mama, you, you should have like cry you will cry. As you literally, <laughs> have like, tears. I you know, and that's so funny because if you feel like you've come up and you've paid your dues and you set up a business, you will assume that you know you find someone so that's gonna work with you. And now the talent pool is saying like no one wants yeah, to do this work. It's literally. a slim, and, it's a slim talent. Yeah, and and people people now like like you said Gen Z, they like variety. So why should I work and be dedicated to you and you give me hundred k when I can work for all three? Mm. And get hundred, hundred, hundred. But is the uh, is the work suffering? Ah, uh, definitely. Yeah, of course, something, will suffer. something, something, something has to give. But I think also, I think that also we also need to be a bit more dynamic. Yeah. Right. Okay. I think that the future of work has changed. Yeah. Absolutely. Listen. So, for example, <laughs> when I employ staff, I tell them like, oh my, anybody working for me, yeah. I know they're side hustle. Mm. <laughs> 
I do. And I tell you, if you're doing something, let me know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to stop you. In fact, I will tell you, okay, oh, I like this. Give me one. Yeah. Encourage My head of, pro- head of production, she sells wigs. And when I come during the weekend, I see, because I, I house them. Oh, okay. So she's making her wigs. I'm like, oh, this looks nice. Oh, okay. Ah, send me the picture. Right? I, I, I'm not a wig person. Well, you but I encourage her. You tell you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is good. Oh, ah, ah. Anybody I see, I'm like, oh, she sells wigs. Oh. Mm-hmm. Do you want to look at it? Because the future of work has changed. Yeah. Absolutely. And now there's their contracts. You can't tie everybody down. If you I can't agree. afford it. And I always tell small businesses, we cannot afford it. Really if you cannot afford it, get someone good. Pay them to do a contract. Give them a project. And let us be, let's streamline what we, our expectations are. Yeah. Okay. The truth is, if you expect someone to give you nine to five, yeah. you don't pay them well. Now that they are, like she said, they are, they are very, I don't use the word fleeting, but they are that's restless. The, that's the word. I think, no, <laughs> that's I think the they are the restless. Is, what is fleeting? So it's like they want to try something else. Allow them. Sometimes, most times. On whose dime? No, but the, the thing is, if you if your expectations are clear, mm-hmm. then when it's time for you to flog, when you I mean flog, flog, I yeah. mean yeah. appraise yeah. you and tell mm-hmm. you're not delivering. It's clear. Very clear. The truth of matter is, this, what I like about Gen Z is now, sometimes it can be annoying, sometimes it's good. They like to be clear. Mm. Communicate expectations. Mm. We are not missing it. I said, it's okay. We agreed that every week you do X number of th- this, why not? And you're not doing it. Yeah. It's not working. Yeah. They might they might go and they might scream, but I call you back to your offer letter. You signed. Mm-hmm. And you signed mm-hmm. your offer letter. This was your JD. I always, every offer letter, JD is excellent. And KPI. And KPI. Yeah. Yeah. So when is at the end of the month, I'm like, you did not meet this. I'm like, oh, hello, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> Even if you laugh for this is tomorrow. <laughs> you not, meet and you when meet I do it. my appraisal, I'll be sending you email. Following your KPI review, yeah. please note that yeah. most times you can't argue. But another, like as long as you we're Have clear and we clear. also understand that the future of, you know now remote working has opened everybody's eyes. Absolutely. You don't need to come to the office. So that whole nine o'clock, I don't like that. No, my office, we still go to, no, we still go to work. We still go work to the every. Office. Do you go? Cassie should us know. So people think work from home is leave. I agree. And when they want to calculate leave, they will now be exempting work from home. I'm That's like, a, no, sorry, me. come back. <laughs> there is, there is a, I don't understand. So what happens on these two days? Sounds working. And she needs work from... <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know the thing, like my MD, he's, when I say someone is staunchly against, you know how yeah. the Pharisees do you not know, like Jesus? <laughs> That's how, you know how they crucify Jesus? You know how they crucify yeah, Jesus? Well, like, I mean, mind. he has his reasons, but my that's by the way. Reasons. He, that's but, by it's not million, yeah, my MD is six. It's just no. like, but, but also, know. I want to say that he's had a lot of experiences with staff sort yes, of vanishing. Yeah. Yeah. So from I home. think he has his you reasons call them. for not doing that. Hello? Ah, so Some it's time for your call exactly. and you are hearing chicken. Yeah, yeah. you are hearing. I'm just like, you can on literally my hear time. truck, they're in traffic. Yeah. And you're like, it should yeah. be in your house at the desk. Yeah. Or it should literally be like at the work station. Or, or, or if you need to go, Communicate. Yeah. Hi, I'm not going to be available to from Susan. Susan. I will not use a gun to come. I will not chase no, you. No, but you know the thing is that because you guys are understanding, doesn't mean that everyone, everyone is as understanding. But I also feel like it's an issue it's of like, trust that has been built over exactly. time. Yeah, so so just, if your if you as a staff has been able to sort of build a level of trust with your line manager yes, in which they know that easy. you would not disappear. A lot of people, even in the office, they can't even put you down. Yeah. So yeah, of yeah I think I think it. you have to build so I mean it's if you were working before work from home, like before uh, COVID, mm. then you might have been able to build a, a, rapport, a bank or a trust, line of, right? Yeah, okay. And so your employer can say, okay, no. Now, the where it's tricky is when you employ someone yeah. in this work from home era mm-hmm. and the person has to work from home. I think that the problem is that there's, because of the lack of discipline, right? You don't have, like, for example, there was one time we had a meeting, one o'clock meeting, and the project manager was not on the call. I was I think, can you imagine? And I said, what's going on? I said, and I called the person. So oh, I had to quickly rush on. I said, I said, sorry? Quickly what? I said, don't you ever quickly rush anymore <laughs> when we have meetings. As in, you can rush at 11. You can rush you can at, quickly rush at, at 3. As but not that one o'clock. And, and, and I think, and once I said that, I said, so Get next time, yeah. that won't happen. However, right now, you're going to sign into the call. You won't say anything because I can clearly hear you in traffic. But, but you, you still take my minutes. And you still send me minutes of meeting. Okay? Mm. <laughs> I think I'm missing your evaluation. You, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you honestly, see things. I feel like, and you know, a lot of times people keep saying like, oh, I'm too hard on. And I find it so weird because I feel like I'm very liberal. 
They're yeah, like, no. I, I really think, you know the thing? I honestly believe. Actually, yeah. Your I, I think I am so liberal. No, but everyone but is just is like. It's different from. But yes, the, I can't ask you to do something yeah. so, and you say. <laughs> like, like, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm just I can't saying. ask you to do something and you tell me, I didn't know how to do it, so I didn't do it. Mm. Oh, no, that, 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 that drives me crazy. Or you come I can't. to me with the problem. I and get, expect me to provide. And you know solution. what I? I'm, I'm like, okay, so you're telling me about this problem. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for the solution. To like, so what should we do? Yeah. Because again, if I could do everything, I wouldn't hire, hire you. you. Mm-hmm. So why are you bringing the problem to me and you're not accompanying it with it's, solution? You know what? Like I, mean, that. I just want so, I even so tell why people. Why should I not collect ten percent of salary? I know you know. what I even tell them. So like, you look, do you do you, you need, do that? No, no. Oh, just, I, I keep saying like you know what you, you, I, I need to see an attempt like so it's two things for me sometimes it's the lack of the unwillingness to even apply yourself mm. it drives me crazy so that's what the second one I know the thing is so funny is the lack of follow through Mm-hmm. I see a lot with young people. You mm-hmm. say, okay, I have an idea. I like this. I like that, which is great. I'm like, fantastic. So we're going to need processes to drive this crickets. Mm-hmm. And then next is like, oh, I think I will delegate to who? Is it my idea? <laughs> Do I know what it is? So if you bring have that I, idea, run it. Like, you literally need to. And I find that because a lot of them have not been able to learn how to do things from ground up or mm-hmm. they don't know how to do things from start to finish. You find that they sort of fall through in the middle mm-hmm. and then becomes everyone's problem because you manage someone that doesn't know how to do anything and then all of a sudden you are then stre- stretched to do everything. So yeah. it, it really drives me crazy. The third thing that absolutely drives me bonkers is just the lack of excellence in the work that is put forth. I can die. I've said, I mean, I see emails, I see write-ups and the capitalization is wrong. Mm-hmm. Punctuation is wrong. No, so they are no. using can instead of me. Like, it's, I'm like, didn't you go to school? Like, <laughs> what is this? Like, I see emails that people write, haba, and they're like, oh, you have to pedantic, you're picking on. And I'm just <laughs> like, but can you not see it? Nothing's wrong with this. <laughs> I, well, I think that I think and I'm that, like, am I being in? Because I, I always feel no, like, I think, you know, it, I think that that's fine. And it would. So again, if you're working with someone who is who wants to learn, they, they would take it. that yep. and they would run with it and yeah. they would grow. Mm. I think that that's where that's the difference. You know, sometimes with us. And I don't want to use us and them. I don't want to use us and them. I don't want to use because, us and Because you know, I feel like my old bosses. I remember when I used to work in audit before I moved in house. Do you know you print like a letter, and he will look at it, put like you can't change it. You come back and say, ah, you didn't see this. And she, and you can print one thing 50 yeah. times until you get it right. It's not going out. You can get it tomorrow. He doesn't ah. care. And you know, I'm now I'm just right. like, hmm, go print this. <laughs> like, let me have peace. Because I know the thing, God forbid you'll be frowning mm-hmm. when they are sending you back and forth. You're just like, oh, okay, it's cool. Like, even if you are mad about it but the about is you've made those errors you need to follow but they'll say that that's because we like stuff ahead hey, but, you know, I mean, but, 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 but here's the thing you're at a job a lot of people don't like the jobs that they do but here's the thing you're at a job you sign the contract you're mm-hmm. supposed to deliver x y and z mm-hmm. whether or not you like it this is what you agreed to do mm-hmm. i get you and i think a lot of people now are very like emotional they're really just you know what they want to go with what their heart wants to do irrespective of the level of perfection or excellence that their hearts can deliver and truth is you need to step up you need to really give your best mm-hmm. and a lot of times your best will not be good enough until mm-hmm. your boss says it is and something you need to accept because that is that is the bane Absolutely. of paid employment that's how it works if you work for someone if you work for someone and they want something done a particular way whatever way you think is best mm-hmm. this is not your business yeah okay. i think so I, I i agree with you but it also stems from the fact that there's a lot of overestimated sense of self. This is true. Nowadays. Right? Let me tell you. I want to finish. <laughs> because <laughs> it, 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 it comes from, and I think, and to be fair, there are some Gen Zs that still have that um, okay. hunger to learn. Okay. They still understand that I'm here yeah, to Yeah, because work. Aura in her I, mind is like she has written them off. Like no. all your... your <laughs> I want to tell like you that everyone, to just go. everyone that like experienced she has really suffered. No, every, no, everyone, 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 that, have, everyone, everyone that, that have experienced, experienced. giving us your experience. Everyone that I've come across, none of them have disappointed me. Disgrace. Okay. <laughs> Never has one said, you know, I know you don't really like Jen, so let me let me let me change your mind. Uh, and I've had no, some, I've had some good ones. So it's it's interesting. I have a a copper working for me at the yeah. moment, and she is excellent. You can't like, you know, believe it. When I was 
taking her on, I was so scared yeah. because I was like, you know, they wake up and she can't sack them. You yeah. can't do anything. Like, they're stuck with you for a year. <laughs> for a year. <laughs> you know, and then she comes in and she's like, oh, wow. You, you know when someone comes in with fire? Yeah. Like, I was just like, ah, ah. Even me, I was like, wait, first, relax, yes. no. It's not like this. But she was so eager to learn. She was so focused. Yeah. And she didn't have that overestimated sense it's of self. self. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what, because when you have that, is when you don't think you should be able to teach they me They can't anything. teach yeah. you. Which yeah. is also why people come and sit down interviews and you're like, okay, what do you, what's your salary expectation? Okay, 250 300. Yeah. One, okay, told me, <laughs> one told me, you clearly didn't look at my resume. <laughs> and, and when I came out to tell some other of my seniors, they're like, Jennifer, I'm surprised you sat there. You and really got... left him. He was so, and he had the audacity to show me his photographs <laughs> of his girlfriend in a bikini. What? Because he was trying to tell me that he can take photos too. I'm like, so that you, don't have, brought, you don't have a random brought, woman in the market. <laughs> and he was clear that, that was his girlfriend. Else. I'm just like, oh, and wow. mentioned, oh. they feel the need to share. I'm just yeah. like, they, they you really need to know do. where to share. Mm-hmm. There's a time I, and place for things. I'm happy you're in a relationship. But Not why right are you now. telling me? I don't know why. He told me, clearly you didn't look at his CV. Yeah, he said, oh, clearly you did not look at it. He had four pages with two years experience. Four pages. What do you want to look at? But I do think it's an over. But I also feel like the climate for work now really encourages branding oh, no, yes. yes really it encourages does. a spirit of you know overestimation and you know embellishment quite a bit so you yeah. know some people that you can take a linkedin course but it's sponsored by ifc and next thing i want to congratulate myself <laughs> because the ifc has granted me <laughs> and you know it's, i'm like this is such a this is really like stretching the truth like this elastic is about to cut because right. it really stretched it to the to, and they, they don't care I, I, they don't. I they mean, really the good don't. thing is, and I think that's the balance, right? Mm. Because they've helped, and to be fair, they've helped millennials speak up more. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Right? To be because honest, let's not lie. Like, some people are actually being tortured at work. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, that is correct. Like, some employers are telling still some employers are very wicked. Wicked. <laughs> some Do you know that? <laughs> they have some people are making tea with two degrees <laughs> in the office. Like, Do you understand? You have, yeah. a, you have a master's degree and your manager is saying it's going to make tea. Do you get that? People, it's happening. It's happening. And I remember there was a meeting. I think I was with a friend of mine. When a meeting, like office meeting, proper meeting, um, and the guy wanted tea, and he looked at the girl, girl and like she, I swear, I can't get it. And she, you know, I think it was, you know, culture instinct. Like, so she was. Try, they should not remember and that. Like, she was, excuse me. Why like, the girl? Sorry, like, sit down. The guy was looking at her like, who is not making? My guy. Inside meeting, they don't need to get up to make tea for you. You get up yourself I mean, and make your tea. Yeah. Everything is already there. Literally. And that's the thing. Right before, people will be carrying to... Yeah, you know, you have people make... who... Women who come to elevators and you'll be carrying bag and be following them. Yeah. And I'm like, things have changed. So yeah, now things. people I... can actually be bold enough to, oh, hello, ma'am. And I'll stand beside you. <laughs> I'm three respectful. Bags. Yeah. I'm, not I'm, carry, I'm not carrying I even find it odd sometimes when people try to help me carry my bag. I'm like, no, 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 I can't do... I can carry them. So so back then, bag. back then, if, if you tried it, you were labeled um, yeah, rude, you know, no, a rude person. Respect. You don't have good, up, you know, yeah, you're, yeah. Not yeah. you're not brought up properly. But now, it's not necessary. And I'm sure even now, the women themselves who still want that feel a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. So I'll thank yeah. them for that because mm-hmm. Jesus don't take that. No, no, but I also feel like maybe because the people that own bags now, they did. They were forced to carry, so they are just like you know what, I'm never, like it's not, it's not a do or die. Ori always has a reason, but anyway, <laughs> I do, because, um, I do because just before we round I, I up. Know, but you know what, I want to tell you, like, the worst, <laughs> I want to ask both of you. Everyone here is going mm-hmm. to share their worst experience. You can share about like the worst thing Melina has done to you, but I want to tell you my worst experience mm-hmm. working with, and this is both like millennial or Gen Z. I asked someone in my office that's Gen Z to go up and <laughs> listen to this. It's my colleague's birthday. I said, please take this to my manager who's C suite. Get him to sign it and bring it back. It's for my team member, which means it's myself. My other team members are my ogre. Mm-hmm. This clown comes back and says, Oh, by the way, I signed the card. Oh wow. I'm Is stunned. Best on your team? No. So I'm a bit confused as to why. So I thought she was joking, right? So I open it and this girl, really nice pen, signed her name there. And I was I said, why? I know what she said. She said, I care for the person doing birthday. I don't see anything wrong with that, but okay. And I said, so why did you buy her a card? <laughs> if you get so much about that, why is it my Might as well just bill her you, what you bill the rest. No, so why are you signing my card? Like, <laughs> if you get so strongly about that, why did you buy her your own card? Oh, and she was like, and I said, okay, so 
second, like, you didn't think to ask me before you signed my card for somebody <laughs> else. She was like, oh, yeah, like, she was far away. So she just thought she would just sign it. I said, but you brought it now and you're here. She said, you know, in her mind, I said, you know, it's fine. There's nothing you're going <laughs> to do. She was actually going to have a conversation. Like, and I said, I know, but that's, that's okay. You signed it. No problem. <laughs> that, like, what's the logic? She was, I think she... She likes the person. She really said she I mean, careful. She didn't think that it was. It was a big, big deal. deal, exactly. Like, because because again, first of all, it was a say, birthday oh, card. It's, it's it. Whose name is it? It's that sense of self. So you're feeling like it's not a big deal. Let me just yeah. Say, <laughs> she won't be mad. Yeah, I mean, true. I think we're very. You know, I think we're sometimes so. Rigid. You know, that's the thing about them. They're very fluid. It's very. It's like it's oh, a it's birthday cool. card. It's, it's never that deep. Like you know, honestly. Yeah. And if it's not, I should have bought your own. But to be honest, I know. Yeah, like sometimes there's like how would I no boundaries. There's a boundary. Yeah. Yeah. Like especially if you're not maybe friends with the other person, or mm-hmm. maybe you ask conversant with the other party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, why would you even step your boundary? Like, for me, I feel like that you you need to know when to say it's it's okay. I'm maybe pushing it a bit. Mm. Do you understand? Don't know. Uh, yeah, because because you, know, you know how people don't know. Don't you know, know how flip is. It's just like your mom in like you know how mothers have like meetings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then they now say they are doing gifts. Then you're not gonna sign on top. Who are you? <laughs> then, <laughs> as if from where to where? Do you get? Yeah. Because and they don't you know, sometimes the when you think about it too, it, it has to do with their background. Maybe where they are coming from. Mm-hmm. People are very. Yes, to be fair. So some, it's people like, are very... It's maybe they're last so bonds that they get to wear. It's not even so about last bonds. I'm just saying, like, a lot of things are changing. Like, you know, the thing is, like, I said, I'm a Gen Z. I, if you see me communicate with my mom, like, she's talking to her sister. So it's like how our parents to have bent their ways to how... The world, the world is changing. Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. not forget that. Like, yeah. everything is evolving. Mm-hmm. I feel like so, some things should still remain. Yeah, yes, but like, boundaries. When it, boundaries. boundaries one of I, I, I agree that you should know when to call it. Like, when to say, okay, it's okay. I may be pushing it a bit. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like, your your experience. For me, <laughs> I'd have just been like, well, first of all, was a birthday card. Like, she wasn't even having a conversation. But I'd have just said, okay. Since I didn't contribute, how much? Let me maybe contribute. So here's to the thing: you. Ah, somebody might not take that. One. Exactly. No, but here's they the might, thing: I feel really like that's is, even. You know what? I've just always gone banned on that card since you so and uh, sign your. As in, I like the old me would have said maybe you should buy three cards and sign all three since <laughs> no, you care so it's much a about the card. My point is exactly. we're all colleagues. I'm sure she didn't take it as a big deal. Yeah. Wait, the person is in your team. This person that signed the card is not in my team. But the person we're signing for is in your team. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, but I you point. sent the person. Yeah. Maybe that's our intern. Copper. <laughs> uh-uh, no, wait, now you guys. So <laughs> it's copper like on bottom of the chain. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact. <laughs> There's hierarchy. I'm sorry. Um, it's it's paid employment. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Well, I, I, I maybe she thought, maybe she's close to the person in a way you don't know. The person If she was, she would have bought a card. Okay, well. Okay I, get, okay, I get your point. I get your point now. You feel if you're close enough, you should get your own card. Okay. I'll leave my card in. Yeah, yeah, my card maybe she's, uh, that's her own payment for having to go. You know, I actually think that's why she signed the card. Exactly. Yeah. I like, think why she signed the card is that if you're team. sending me and I'm exactly. not on my team. Yeah. I know your team. I'm going to you sign the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Entitlement. It is. It is. It's because it's, 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 we don't know her reason. So you know the thing is that she signed the card. But her reason is that she cares for the person. But I genuinely feel like that's actually why she signed the card. You know, they're actually very interesting. They Exactly. They can be petty. You sent me. We can't. No, exactly. You sent me. Okay, me too. I'm part of this. Exactly. Which is so interesting because the girl said no. If she said no, would you be okay with it? Yeah, if you don't want to go, you don't want to go. Like, Do you know the thing is that we're saying yeah nice. now, but no, if but she said no, you would have probably people, had... That would have been your worst stop experience. No, it would have been worse because she's done worse things. No, me. but... So that would have, I mean, but what I'm trying to say is, at the end of the day, sometimes they don't know. So let's... I hope she listens let's to Let's move on to our... Okay, when you are employing, you should add um, some sort of small home training. Uh, that's really important. <laughs> yeah, so but tell me. I think you can do it with that too. Hmm. Yeah, God, if, you're, if you have people working it. with you, you have to because if you don't like something, like now, I'm hoping next time she won't do, do that, that. Yeah, right? because you've told her that oh, don't do you it. Know? And to be, to be fair, when you employ people, you have to be saying everything as a teacher. It's so, yeah. stressful. It's so stressful. It's so stressful. It's so stressful. It's so stressful. But you have to, yeah. Because you know, sometimes, like you said, some people genuinely don't know. Exactly. Sometimes they don't know. Like it's a problem. Sometimes, I and just like, say, like I think it depends. Also, like for instance, it depends on who you're working with. There are some people that. Regardless of how much you push their buttons, you would never see them flare up or are so like, oh, this is how it is, or complain mm-hmm. because that's just how they are. They they like to teach. Yeah. They don't mind being telling you, okay, this is how the thing should be. This is how the thing should be. Mm-hmm. But Doesn't I mean, it's exhausting. It, it, it can me, be. Sometimes I just say, I can't wait for you to be a leader. You call me. <laughs> 
and we'll just about But tell me about your experiences before we go. Yeah, before we go. I think I already said mine. That interview (laughs) That interview was was, you were like "Mm." because I was like, where is the link to your portfolio? Then he clearly didn't look at my resume. And I pulled it up. I'm like, This is the link. I don't see no link here. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, there was no link. There was no link. (laughs) Oh, that's the worst. (laughs) How about you, Daphne? What was your worst? Worst experience with any any of them? Yeah. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. Worst experience. I think it was. <clears throat> we both gen like the yeah. two. With, with both sides. Any, any. Um, I think for millennial, my worst experience would be, <clears throat> and this was one of like our drivers. Mm. He clearly was struggling with the work, right? Oh. Um, I think he was struggling because he had a gambling problem. Now, where it got tricky was he used company money for something, right? And mm. then we called him and said, look, Oga, you can't do this, talk. right? You can't take money from a store and then go and use it for your personal issue. Monday, you said you took it on a Friday evening, so you couldn't send it to the bank. Okay, Monday. Where's well, Monday? You did not bring it. Tuesday, where's the money? You know, they now start telling you how, you know, my wife is sick. Madam, this I said, okay, no problem. We spent it. Okay, can you bring it back? <coughs> and it's not a thing of you are not understanding mm. problems. There are so many issues. Oh, who is this? Um, know, yes, and I was who? just Gen Z or no, a millennial. Yeah. And I was just looking at him like, it's where do you even start from? Where do you but really? Where do you start? But, and from? and that's the thing. You know, sometimes we're very good. You know, we just. One thing, I don't want to give you pity case. They really, they have it. So they've cooked it. They've, they've watched cooked, you well. They know what they're going to tell you. You'll not be looking. And it's not a thing of, hey, I take or hey. beg you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're not start looking like the devil. Because there's that thing of, you you know, become... But usually, it's always domestic problems that always. affect a lot mm-hmm. of people. I, I honestly think Beyond, so. I think that it's always they themselves... Are, yes, it's always either family... Um, yeah. Parents so or the wives, or, kids, or, yes, or wives. they're always crossing themselves. There's always, ah, they're always, <laughs> they're always, they're always wow. have one wow. family problem. No, but, that but, but, but it's it, just just saying. I, I would just say categorically that maybe they struggle with compartment, comp- Pe- compartmentalizing. Yeah, yes. yes. and then you see that it seeps into their yes. work, yeah. and you can tell someone that the husband is beating her. You can just tell. You can tell the work that they're doing. Mm-hmm. People that have problems yeah. in their marriages, their their work suffers mm-hmm. like so much. Mm-hmm. And I feel like younger people, maybe not none of them are married, so they might not to experience it but mm-hmm. you find that a lot of women I know for sure they be like oh you know I'm trying to have a kid mm-hmm. or I'm going to like IVF shorts or those things or a young mom yeah yeah, like just trying strong, so yeah so I think you find a lot of those are the issues that like yeah. really but I think have. I think that so for example I have um, like young mothers working with oh. me and I and which was I was talking about the future of work I remember one time she couldn't her resumption time was 7.30 she couldn't make 7.30 so she used to come in 8.30 every day and her supervisor was like, I'm not going to have it. You know, your call time is this. So I came into the office and I saw she looked unhappy. I said, what's going on? She's like, oh, you know, I don't have a nanny. I have, I have to take to them to crutch every morning come. before coming. And so I'm always late. And I've now been told that if I'm late again, there's going to be a problem. And I said, okay, so what time can you come to the office? Mm-hmm. She said, I can be here by 8.30. I said, okay, moving forward. The resumption time is 8.30. And yeah. I called her supervisor and I said, you need to understand that when you have a child... Mm. Things it's are like different. Exactly. It's, it's, it's such a different it's, and, field. and if the person is not an irresponsible staff, like you said, they've yeah, built their they've built trust a bank, bank of trust. They like, work hard. Yeah. All she's asking for is one hour. to resume one hour. one hour after the time. Then you create a time for her. If what it means is that she's going to say, okay, you know she what, another day I'll give you an extra hour here or there. Even if not, she's giving you the, she's delivering on her KPI yeah. within mm-hmm. the shorter time, time frame, then so. it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Right? But in terms of millennials, like when you talked about Gen Z, it's one of the issues I had. I remember we work. had company phone with somebody, right? And the person said he had forgotten. I don't... Wait, let me think. I think, you know, when you put um, like your pa- wrong password 10 times, I think, or five and times on the iPhone, it disables, yeah. it disables the iPhone. So company phone was disabled. I didn't know. People were calling like, oh, we're trying to reach your company. Sending emails. We can't reach. I'm like, it's like, oh, the battery died. Oh, something is wrong. I'm like, ah. But why am I reaching this phone? She gets something is wrong. You know, then I said, you know what? Bring the phone. Bring the phone. Um <clears throat> magic. I'm gonna get back to you, ma'am. Oh, I'm get, I'm like, ah, uh-uh. are we playing something here? Like, can you please bring my phone? <laughs> you know, and then it becomes a thing. And I was like, you know what? End of the month is approaching. I'm not gonna pay your salary yeah. if I don't get the company phone. Mm-hmm. Because without company phone, 
We can't walk. We can't walk. <laughs> and then I get this email that there's no way where I signed <laughs> that you're going to take my money. And I'm like, okay, bring the company. Yeah, just bring the phone. Company phone is brought. You saw the screen thing. is cracked. Mm. iPhone is disabled. I'm like, okay. What now? Give me the. How do you resolve this thing? It's like, oh, the phone number links to it. He doesn't have access to the phone. I saw that it was a UK number. So I was like, so whose number is this? It's like, oh, it doesn't know. It doesn't know. It was the worst because I had to start. You know when I started calling people, please, do you know how to help? I started calling people who fix phones. And then at the end of the day, when, it fin- when I finally got the phone, like, yeah. I, you know, somebody was with me and said, why don't you call the number? What is his phone number? And I was like, he already said he doesn't have access to the phone. Do you get like, what? He said, just call the number. And I called the number and guess who picked up? Him. His mom. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. That's when I knew that I was screwed. <laughs> ah. I was like, Hello, Ma. You say mom, hello. Okay. She said, Oh, yeah, 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 that's my child. I was like, I need my. Okay, you know what? They're going to send my... you the. I think they send you like a pin. Uh, yeah, Can okay. I have it? She said, Oh, my my child has to tell me to, tell to, you. Give, you. to give you the. Wow. Yeah. And there we have it. And it went downhill from there. Okay. But, you know, it was. But a, did you get your phone back? Though? I did. Finally, yeah. you know. She, you know, we did all of that. It was, it was a, it was a, I think it was a traumatizing process no. for me. So he doesn't know his mom's number. He does. He, he probably does. He doesn't want to get his mom. Yeah. He doesn't want to say it was his mom's. Mm. But yeah. why? You're quick to say Crazy. things that don't concern them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm really looking forward to a time when they become leaders. When they yeah. step into leadership. I agree with I agree I'm, with hoping, I'm hoping that they grow wait. fast enough. I'm mm. hoping that they are willing to take on more responsibility and then see how it is when people are working for them. But maybe it might be more interesting when they become It really will be. I'm really, I'm I already will be here. Don't worry. Let's pray for you. I, I've told them <laughs> that <laughs> they have my number. They should please call They will call you. Yeah, they managing call. people I, is I hard. Would, I would have a good laugh for the first 20 <laughs> minutes at least. Um, I'm sure they will have people that will guide them. No, they will guide themselves. They I think, like you said, there's some very good Gen Z. Yeah. I've worked yeah, with some yeah. excellent ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they will be leaders. But the only problem I is, I just I hope that the ones that are there, the other ones that are now no, The ones that are leading will take leadership. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming on board. Thank I'm you. glad that you guys have touched on, you know, excellence, integrity, passion. I'm hoping that whoever's listening to this, irrespective of like your age bracket, whether you're a Gen Z, millennial, baby boomer, whatever it is, I'm hoping that you take those three key points and sort of infuse mm-hmm. them into your work. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with something my boss, my first boss used to tell me when they give me work to do. He would say, when I bring it back, he would say, is this the best that you have done? And every time till now, when I'm turning something in, even if it's like a scrap of paper, I'm always so concerned. I'm always, you know, at the back of my mind, I'm, it's making sure that this is the best I can do on this so that even if they are trashing me afterwards. So whenever you do anything, I want you to just always have back of your mind that this is literally put out your best to work all the time. All right. Thank you so much for thank listening. You. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Thank you. For Bye me. now.